Welcome, my friends. Well, what's all this? Clashing with a hottie? I don't get it. What's going on? Well, uh, just gonna in the background, I'm gonna be giving you some three star attacks. But so it's not a clickbait. Uh, it's definitely a new series. Uh, in case you didn't know, I am married. Yes, been married for about over five years. That was my wife. Anyway, she, you know, in Clash, I'm sure you get it all the time. You know, she's like, "What are you even doing, Halo?" Well, she doesn't call me Halo, but what are you even doing playing this game? Just clicking buttons. It's so funny. You know, the craziest thing with uh, playing Clash of Clans is like, tap, 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 tap. You're just always tapping your finger on the screen. And like, what is going on? To the to the person who doesn't know what Clash is, it's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. What we do and how we uh, actually uh, play this game nonstop. So, I wanted to start a series. I'm going to maybe have her come on the show, uh, not the show, she'll come on the channel some and talk a little about kind of her and maybe have her do some raids, things like that. And, you know, just play, have it fun a little bit. Uh, have some fun with this channel and uh, see where it goes. So, I want to make it a series and just kind of introduce it to you at that and see what happens, get your feedback and see what's going to go on. Um, and yeah, maybe she'll eventually become a clasher. Highly doubtful, but who knows? You never know these things. So it, it g just goes to show that uh, just giving you a little insight into who uh, who I am. Anyways, clashing with a hottie. Uh, the wife's name is Charity. Charity. Anyways, enough about that. I'll let her. I, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when it happens. Again, here you're looking at a beautiful three-star attack from yours truly. Yes, it's not a Max Town Hall 10 defensive base at all, but still, nonetheless, the funnel was kind of created. I did get a little lucky that actually enough Valkyries and the King went to the core. So uh, definitely, it was there and got the three-star attack available for you and all that. So I know a lot of other YouTube YouTubers have, I think, brought in, you know, some of their girlfriends, things like this, and probably their wives, and whatever, doing all this, kind of trying to make it, but I just want to make a fun series, you know, something a little fun, uh, and see how it goes, and let her attack maybe during some war, and see if she does better than me at the uh, Town Hall uh, 10 level. <laughs> maybe she'll get a 3 star. I doubt it, you know, probably get a 1 star. You know, heck, with these spamming abilities now, guys, with the spamming abilities of these bowlers, actually, maybe uh, not, you don't even need a pro. You just drop them, drop every, you know, drop everything down and hope for the best, and you maybe get a three star. <laughs> you know, that's I, I think that's the danger of these spam attacks. You know, if anyone can do it and just spam it and get at least two stars. That's not cool. I mean, yes, getting the third star, you need some skill um, and know how to place the placement. But if you can get a two star with just spamming, that's not that good. That is not good for a game overall and kind of getting people to come back to the game. Here's a brilliant attack from the talking Tay, and he is getting the th uh, she. No, I said talking. No, oh, I can't remember. He or she. I think it's a she. Uh, it's in our clan. Uh, uh, she, I'm probably going to get called out. Uh, come on. That's the thing with these names. I can't, I can't remember. Um, from the names alone. Oh, look at all those double giant bombs, four in a row. Well, too bad he didn't go on the first side. He would have gotten total destruction. Uh, but anyways, great three-star attack from a Town Hall 11. That was a tough base. Using bowlers, and of course, queen is left, and that's all you need. Queen and some healers, and you're good to go for the three-star attack. I love it. Let's see. I'm going to show some more bases and more attacks. This is... Let's see here gonna show you just from our this is a war recap kind of you know showing dump number of different attacks at the uh, town hall 10 town hall 11 i'll show you some town hall 9 as well uh later on so this is a popular base guys town hall uh 11 ring bases are very common you have usually a lot of times usually um you have either the eagle artillery in the core um with the uh town hall and the kind of uh inferno tower spread out or you have it like this where you have clumped together you have inferno towers in the center with the eagle artillery and the uh town hall now this is a difficult base i kind of like it having the eagle artillery in the core because uh, the reason that it is, you still have the ring base where the uh, bowlers will not path towards the center. Most of them won't. Uh, if the funnel, even if the funnel is created, they won't do it. And when they get into the core, there's two single target infernos. They're going to lock onto the king, lock on to the queen. Look, the king's about to go down, and if you don't bring the freeze, 
Um, for those Inferno Towers, you will die very quickly. Um, of course, his actually path right towards the core, perfect funnel. But there's so many hit points in the center of the base. Looking what happened here is he's not going to get that third star. So I like the two single target Infernos. I'm wondering um, with the bowlers, you know, how do you take down these bowler attacks? Hopefully, I, you know, I think those single targets, if they can lock on to a king or queen, uh, I think it will actually help this raid and end it quickly. Because the king, the heroes really play a huge role with these bowler attacks, uh, more so um, than maybe the bowlers themselves. You know, um, would he have three starred this? Actually, um, no. If he had more time, yes. Look at that. The, uh, all the units are on the golem. If there was more time available, he would have gotten the three star. But that's what happens with these kind of ring type bases. They're very difficult to take down at that and get that third star. So, of course, you can't three star every base. I've mentioned this before. It's not going to always happen. AI goes into a lot of it. Sometimes it goes well for you, sometimes it doesn't. Here's a Town Hall 9 attack. And let's see what's gonna happen here. Going to kind of the uh, the giants, healers, hogs, and wizards. This is a very common attack now. A lot of people like to use it. I personally like other attack styles better. I like the go vaho and the or the just straight vaho at the town hall nine level, um, and because it's super powerful. And you can still bring uh, bowlers in the clan castle with a vaho. That would be nice kind of addition there. Just an extra firepower right behind the Valkyries to kind of just destroy that base. And then with the hogs in the back end, it would still be over. So I like it more because Valkyries are way more powerful than those giants. And the problem with giants is if the healers just get distracted off the giants, you're going to get that fail. Um, and this attack actually I thought was going to be a fail, but look, he just had enough hogs and mainly the queen stayed up uh, and the healer stayed alive. If for whatever reason the queen had dropped for, you know, who knows, you know, sometimes the queen goes down, the healers get taken out, um, then um, it would be a big fat failed attack. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to be keeping you posted about the uh, clashing with the hottie and see where that goes. But anyways, um, I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Do I have another attack here for you? Let's see. I guess I'll show this one. I'll show one more attack just in our clan war recap available here for you. This is kind of using... Uh, saloons um, for the back end, but mainly this is a queen walk using the ga uh, the ga the go vaho strategy, which I prefer. Uh, very powerful. Most people a lot of like to bring three healers on these va uh, Valkyrie attacks. I don't like that. I like to bring at least one rage and preferably not use it on the queen because if you use it on the queen, uh, you won't have that rage for the Valkyries. He did use it on the queen because he wanted to make sure the clan castle was taken out. That's pretty smart. Um, make sure your queen stays alive. And of course, from here on out, it's just going to be destruction. The golem does get way distracted, way down to that archer tower. Uh, so he did lose a couple wizards um, for that. But the funnel was created uh, just barely, though. It was very dangerous. Those Valkyries could have easily gone out to the outside for whatever reason. Sometimes the AI gets tricky and they don't take the jump spell over uh, kind of going to the outside unit so thankful for that he did bring in some loons i'm not sure about the loons i mean they definitely helped in the sense the last loon did get that wizard power and if time has run out maybe not but i think bring extra hog let's see you know bring two hogs why not um er two hogs i think would be better than anyway thanks again for watching we'll see you next time halo out